Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today we're gonna make a card using Royal Peacock Photopolymer Stamp Set. With that beautiful peacock on there. And then I'm also gonna use the detailed peacock dies. And let me go ahead, let me just grab them real quick for you, I could show you. Well, here's the peacock. And then here's the outline of the peacock. It also has um, some extra like little feathers and uh, stuff like that. And then they've got these little guys that'll go around here, this little guy that'll go around there. So I'm gonna be using this guy and we're gonna play around with this guy. So I've already cut them out on some very vanilla because that's what I wanted to use for my card. And I am doing this card for my um, stamp team that I belong to. And it's so fun and so cool. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the die cut out. And that was so pretty. And then here is the one that is also cut out that is just um, there. So before we get started on the card, I wanted to just play with this a little bit and show you guys. And I hope it works out because this is the first time I'm using this one. And I was gonna say, and I've already lost my ink pad, but I'm gonna be using the Pretty Peacock today. The, the actual ink pad color and because they are photopolymer you can see right through so you could cut this out afterwards but I had cut it out already so I said oh I might as well play around with it because I really wasn't sure what card that I wanted to make I just had an idea because each month um, the team that I'm on uh, one of the people pick a a sketch so it kind of just an idea for us all to go off of and then we all kind of make a card using that sketch so you really want to be over I don't want to get my head in there but you want to be really close to to getting right in there so I think we're good so I'm gonna push that down on there Get that good, let the ink transfer over. And then when I pull it off, look at that. Holy smokes. And that's just me eyeballing it. You can see it's a little bit closer here, a little bit further, but still looks beautiful. And then um, what you could do is you could just do a, a vanilla piece, do that, and then use it afterwards and cut it out and get it perfectly. So we've got that. Oh my gosh, now I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I wish I was doing this live so you guys could help me. So I'm now gonna get rid of this uh, pretty peacock ink on here. And I wanna make sure I get it all out of there really good because this is now gonna go into, well, not this one. I just wanna get it out of there really good for the next time, I guess. But now I want to grab this other piece here. Now these, I'm going to use a different color. So I'm just going to take this guy off and put it right back where it belongs. And it's ready to go again. And I'm going to take this one, put that one down. And this one I'm going to use some Mossy Meadow. I just wanted to keep it a little bit darker, but you could use any color you want. You could use like the blueberry bushel would probably look really good. Something to give it another color there. So this one is the Mossy Meadow. And then again, I like to just do it sideways because I could see better. But we're gonna put this guy kind of right in there. I just wanna get it Make sure we're getting it in there. 
Uh, there we go. You just line that up, and now we've got some mossy meadow. We're going to let that transfer on over there real quick. And then when I pull this up, you see that? It gave it some nice color. So you could do that in a completely different color, like a real pretty um, light blue or something similar to that. But whatever you'd like. So, But I'm going with the colors of um, Old Olive and Pretty Peacock. So we'll decide here in a minute what we want to do. I'm just going to clean this off real quick. Because I like to get in there with my chamois and get that all out of there. So it's ready to go next time. All right, thank you for being patient with me while I do that. The other stamping, real quick, while we're stamping, I'm just going to get a piece. This is literally scrap, as you can tell. I'm going to get a piece of scrap in the very vanilla. I got the You Are Incredible. We're going to ink that up in the peacock. And we're just going to find a spot here that this would work well. And I think right here would be fine. Well, that didn't work because I touched it. Let's try right here. And you don't have to worry about having it super straight because there's a punch that fits perfectly on here. So you're just going to line that up like it fits tight, but it is okay for me. So you get to line that up. And there we go. We've got that You Are Incredible. Now, if you didn't like the way that looks, let me see, I'm going to really quick, just in case, because some people might not like that, I'm going to, here's another one. So we'll go with options, and then you guys tell me below what I did right or what I did wrong as far as the options that I'm giving you, because here's this one. And this one's teeny tiny, and it says you did it. So I already messed up here, but I have the other side, so I'm okay with it. We've got that you did it. So I'm just going to, there we go. And we'll do the same thing. Punch it out, and that might fit a little better for some of you guys. There you go. But, I mean, you see how these little scraps, they go a long way. You think you're going to throw it away, and you don't need to. And then, even with this piece here, if you don't like the size of it, if it might be a little too big for you, you can actually just go perfect and snip that off right there. Or, I mean, this is a teaching video today, isn't it? You can actually make it a little bit smaller. And I, this is the hardest part that I always get into. There we go. You can go and look at that. See how nice and close that is? And then you do it to the other side. And you can make this whatever length you want. And I'm saying literally you can make it whatever length you want. Because if you wanted it to be even longer than this side, you just cut it down to what is this, a little bit... I don't know what size it would be, but you cut it that length or, or smaller, and then you could do the same thing that I just did by sticking it in there. 
So there we go. We can decide which one of these we want to use and which one of those. Let's put our card together. Uh, I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of old olive that I cut right in half. So we cut that there and then we did it at five and a half there. And then I scored at four and a quarter. So that way when I close the card, I have a five and a half by four and a quarter base. There we go. Then, that's in Old Olive. Then I cut a piece of um, Pretty Peacock, and that's at four here by five and a quarter. So that is gonna give me a nice little border there. Then I took a piece of the foil um, Pretty Peacock. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty? See that? Oh, you can see that glimmer there. Uh, this is at three and a half by one and three quarters, and I'm going to put that guy there. Now we already know this part that is happening. So because I have a little bit of a a sketch, it's a literal sketch. I'll tell you when I do my sketches. I'm going to cut this out so you can see my sketch. I have to cut it out because it has some information on it that you guys don't need or want to know. <laughs> But this is how I quickly sketch out the sketch that is given. I just draw it real quick. So there's your base right here. This piece right here is this guy. We got this here. It's got some type of ribbon across it. So I went and I grabbed the, um, what is this, the reversible ribbon. And this has the old olive and the pretty peacock. So it was very easy for me to decide what I wanted. So I took a piece that I thought I would want, and then all I do on this is I loop it, loop it through like, like a regular knot, okay? Like that, and then cut it off. And then, so I already did one, but I wanted to show you how I did it since we're learning on this video today and you come up with something like that and you snip off the edges on how you like it and then what we're going to do that ribbon if you look at this it doesn't go all the way it goes over this card so I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to snip it you could snip it in half I'm going to snip it a little more than half because I want this ribbon to be over here on the side more. But then you've got your ribbon there. And you'll want to figure out how it's going to lay best. There we go. And you're going to want this to go around there but remember we are trying to figure something out so I'm not going to place this yet this will be placed down further so we know this needs to go up a little bit further this is going to go there this guy is going to go there right to the ribbon because see my sketch we're either going to use you did it or you're incredible right about here haven't decided this might help actually I think the little you did it is gonna be the winner because it's nice and cute and little now my original plan was to do something like this and then have the you did it like that However, after seeing this really pretty little peacock there, we might go, maybe scoot this over a little bit more. We'll put it all down, figure it out. Scoop this over just a little bit more there. 
put that guy down and then put this down. Ooh, I think I like that. Okay, so that's one way. And then the other way would be to just have the outline. Like that. And then the you did it. But I think the you did it kind of gets lost in there. So I might even put it down here. And I, remember, this is just a sketch to give you an idea. So you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfectly followed. Like if you see a sketch like this had a, an actual bow on it, I'm not going to put a bow, I'm going to just put the little tails. And it has a square here with something in it. I'm going to maybe pull it down a little bit more if I go this way. But I think I really am going to go this way because I really like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, now we can move forward with this guy. I'm going to get out some snail adhesive here. And then I'm going to take this guy while I have that, and I know I want it to be above the line. So we'll take this. I think we decided we wanted them over a little bit further. So that'll work. And we're going to move this guy. And because I have tape on the back, it's going to stick there. And then I'm going to take some more tape and run it right over the ribbon to get the ribbon to stay down as well. And we're just going to line this up. Once you get these top corners, the rest of it lines up really well. And I want, I don't want this to be up. I want it to stay down a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of tape on this side and that side. And then when you do that, you can put it up a little bit. See how I did that? So it has some ribbon roughage to it. So, And that's the same way you can put this down if you wanted it to lay flat. You just put a little bit of tape right there and it's going to lay nice and flat for you. So there you go. And then we're going to take this guy already know we want this to be matched up right there with a nice little border. See how it's all just coming together so nicely. And then we have this guy. Yeah, I think this is really pretty. And what I'm going to do is I will probably color this in with a little bit more of some color that I have. Let's see. I'm just looking. Maybe a nice little bit of the Highland Heather would be really cute here. And you can really give him or is it, I'm thinking this is a him. Some really pretty color in there. And get some great color or shimmer would be good. But I'll show you. I'm not too worried about that. And then I'm going to come in here 
with a little bit of balmy blue to really give some of this some color and you know I, I don't really know what colors are in the peacock but it just seems like it's really pretty and I knew I wanted to go with either um, completely blank like this or with some pretty color so I'm sure after the camera turns off I might go look and see if there's other colors that I could add but it looks like these are just little dots at this point give it a little bit more color so you guys I show you what I do here but if you want to see at the end like what I've done I always show my cards on Instagram so I since I'm filming and I do everything kind of live I don't really know what colors they are here and I'm, I can't look it up because I'm filming on my phone <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that I will add some color here and probably here and I'm sure some of you are screaming at me telling me what colors they are <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy down and I could pop it up I could do a pop up there let's go ahead let me get out some dimensionals we're gonna get out our little mini dimensionals here Actually, I'm just going to use those. I can cut them to the size that I want. So we're just having fun. I do have a dimensional left here. I will use that on this part right there. And then some of these are going to just go along. This little thin piece can go right along the neck there. And then there, I want to make sure I get some thin pieces there. So I could use little mini dimensionals or just cut out of that edging. There we go. So pretty, super excited about this. And then we'll take this little guy and I think I'm gonna move him. Do I want it right there? I mean, that is kinda cute. Okay, we'll do that. And I'm just gonna take this cut this the way you want it so well looks like I'm going to be using this piece this one will be saved for later Look at how cute that is. Okay, now the final piece, guys. The final piece. Look at these. They are the Noble Peacock Rhinestones. They are literally made to go with this. So let's go ahead. Well, you know what? I'm going to use this side. Just 
push a little bit up there. There we go. And I'm going to put them right above where that um, the purple part that I did. And I'm going to get them all the colors. This is just so beautiful and since I am making just this one card I'm going to go ahead and really jazz this up in my opinion <laughs> so you guys thank you so much for staying this long with me if you've made it this far We're just getting these guys on there. So pretty. It's just gorgeous. Hmm, I don't want I don't like just me. Don't want my colors to be right next to each other, but I think I have kind of put myself in a corner. <laughs> where that's going to happen anyway. So I guess we just do it. Yep, I have. This blue is simply stunning. So there we go. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Put one more right there. There we go. What do you think? Let me know. If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up if you wanted to order it. You guys, there's a whole suite. You could order almost everything I showed on here and more. Um, but if you do so and do it before the 25th, go ahead and use this host code. MWSJE6CB and right now they're having an extra bonus it's bonus days going on so double bonus if you order over $50 you are going to be able to join me on my live online class later this month or if you buy the free as a bird stamp set you'll be able to get in on that class and you could do so at my website, jeanpiersani.stampinup.net. I will also be showcasing this on my newsletter. So you'll be getting um, all this information on my newsletter as well. So I hope you like this. I think it is simply gorgeous. So let me know your thoughts. And let me know if you would have rather seen this going this way. I think it turned out really pretty. All right, beauties. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.